What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today it is February 9th and it's Thursday and today marks the final day of my three-day juice cleanse. I am super excited to just wrap it up and get back to some real food. Um, I definitely don't feel as bad as I thought I would, but I can definitely tell that I haven't been eating enough for the past three days. And the fact that I did the 15,000 calorie challenge definitely helped a lot because I still probably have a lot of calories in me that my body's like still trying to break down. Um, if you guys don't know, it takes your body 48 hours to break down one meal. So if you do the math and you think back to everything that I ate during my challenge, if you guys haven't watched it, the link will be down below, but um, you can probably guesstimate that my body's still working on breaking down some of the food. So I would think that I don't feel as bad because of that, but um, for someone that just would go from their regular calories to doing this, I could definitely see them going through some withdrawals and going through some struggles because your body just needs the calories to function, right? But um, all in all, I do feel great, but I am more than ready to get back to eating my puffed wheat cereal and my PB&Js. Um, right now it is 9.55 a.m. So with that being said, let's get the day started. Got juice number one right here. I'm gonna go get my tightened and I will catch you guys when I'm back home. I also do want to talk a little bit about the spirulina and the true curcumin. Curcumin, I think that's how you say it. So sit tight for that. You guys saw it's almost 2.30 and I'm just getting home. Super starving. I feel like I'm gonna pass out to be completely honest. 17 p.m. and it is time for juice number three which means that we're that much closer to juice number four which is literally so good i'm back for juice number three and i also have a little surprise for you guys so somehow i don't know what happened but my p science monthly order got sent out twice so that means i do have quite a bit of extra stuff and i do want to do a giveaway because one we hit 13,000 subscribers yesterday which is super exciting and what better way to say thank you than do a little p science giveaway for you guys so all you have to do is simply comment down below let me know what your favorite p science product is you have to be following p science on instagram as well and i will be selecting a winner on my instagram story so make sure that you're following me on instagram i'm gonna go ahead and dig into juice number three and I don't think I mentioned what I am giving away so I'll be giving away a tub of watermelon aminos so you know what to do if you want to be entered in the giveaway before I go ahead and dig into my fourth juice which I am so excited about but I'm gonna wait until 6 to have it and it's 5.18 right now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the spirulina and the true curcumin that you guys saw me take this morning um, the spirulina, the main reason why I started incorporating it into my diet is because my friend actually let me know that it's helped her digestion quite a bit and even though my digestion is working really well now, I still want to do everything I can to have it working as efficiently as possible and another really huge benefit of it as well is the fact that it has all the essential amino acids it'll help with protein muscle synthesis and that just means that it'll help your body recover from any kind of physical exercise that you are incorporating into your daily life and another thing that really stood out to me as well it helps to you regulate your blood sugar which is really good for me because I have been dealing with really low blood sugar and then with the true curcumin it's actually a product that is sold by PE science the main purpose of true curcumin is actually to help with inflammation that being said not all curcumin is going to be as beneficial because it's bioavailability which just means your body's ability to absorb the nutrients um, isn't always the best so you have to make sure that whatever supplement you choose to buy actually has the other components that will increase the bioavailability so this one by PE science actually has those components so I'm super excited to start incorporating that because it'll help me with my performance in the gym and just with recovery in general so that's the reason why I'm using that now just kind of wanted to share that with you guys I'm gonna go get back into work and I will see you guys at the next juice you guys were so close to finishing this third day and just finishing this freaking juice class and I'm so excited like oh You guys, there's only two juices left. Um, the other juice that I have left has lemon, raw sugar cane, bentonite clay, 
an activated charcoal and it has 45 calories for half a bottle so 90 calories for the entire bottle and with this i am going to wrap up the vlog um all in all the past three days were a struggle and just because i was a little bit more hungry than i usually am which is honestly expected but i don't feel like a huge difference I just feel tired and hungry. I cannot wait until I get to dig into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich tomorrow morning. Like, <sighs> it's been three days. <laughs> I did buy this here in Calgary, Alberta. It's called Crew Juice. It was $200 for the three-day juice cleanse. You can most definitely do it at home. I would just recommend making sure that you do your research before you decide to do it on your own at home and uh, making sure that you are getting all the nutrients that you need to do a juice cleanse. Body fat, water mass, bone density, and lean body mass. I'm not even gonna bother complaining about the sun because this is like a blessing here in Canada. So we're gonna embrace it and we're gonna do some very sunny lighting. So Good morning all the way from Canada. I am here at Walmart because today is my first day back to solid foods after my three day juice cleanse. If you are new around here, you might not know what I'm talking about. So for the past three days, I did a juice cleanse. The last time I had solid foods was a Monday and today it is Friday. It's um, 10 a.m. right now. Even though I really just wanna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna slowly ease back into eating solid foods. So today will be more of like vegetables, fruits, some nuts um maybe a little bit of grains as the days progress i will be incorporating chicken back into my diet because i 100 percent miss my freaking chicken and shredded lettuce salads like literally it's the simplest things that you just realize how much you miss and how much you enjoy when you get them taken away from you so i'm super excited to get into that but that won't be for the next few days i want to take you guys through my meals today and kind of show you what i'm having to get back into my normal daily diet i'm not gonna focus on hitting certain macros right now but my macros are still 130 grams of protein 225 carb and 60 grams of fat i haven't been tracking my macros really because of the juice cleanse i really had no other choice so the last time that i actually hit those numbers was a long time ago but once i'm back into my solid foods i will be back into those macros so as you guys saw i am pretty light as of this morning i'm actually a lot lighter than i was pre 15,000 calorie challenge but i'm sure as the days go by and i start to incorporate more solid foods into my diet my weight will be back up but i feel really good um i feel very energized i feel awake i'm definitely ready to get back into some solid foods but i'm actually not starving this morning like i had my workout this morning i filmed a full upper body workout with dumbbells only so it's perfect for those of you who don't don't have any equipment available to you and want to do an at-home workout um, that'll be in a separate video though so make sure that you go and check that out if it is up already but I feel great I feel very strong I feel awake I feel energized so I would say that I had a very positive experience I didn't pass out I'm still alive and that's all that matters so we're about to go into Walmart it's right back here and get some veggies get some food and finally get some chewing action back into my life so let's go in Essentially, that's what today's gonna look like guys if you guys want to see how creative I can get with some micro friendly foods then you might want to stick around for that I also do have some other vegetables and some other fruits in the fridge so I'll be using that up as well but before I go ahead and get into my first meal I'm gonna put this all away and then I'm gonna figure out what I want to break this fast with honestly I am so excited to just like get some food in me I'm thinking some frozen pineapple chunks are definitely gonna be a part of this <laughs> Sit 
since I haven't had more than 30 grams of protein for the past three days, I am going to go ahead and start my day with some vegan select protein. I'm going to make my little smoothie bowl, acai bowl, protein ice cream, whatever you want to call it. It tastes good. So all I'm simply doing is adding 150 grams of strawberries to my Ninja. I'm going to add a 1 to 2 water ratio, about this much water. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then we're doing 29 grams of select protein, so just one serving, which has 20 grams of protein, 4 carb, and 0 fat. And this is the vanilla. Actually, just kidding. I haven't tried the wild berry. We're going to try the wild berry. Of course, this scoop isn't on top. It's okay. We'll just use... Where's the scoop? Where's the scoop? The so 29 grams of wild berry. And I am going to add just a little bit of Splenda for extra sweetness. Can't be too healthy now. Just a little bit. I kept it pretty simple with all the toppings and I'm just excited to dig in. I've already had like my first taste of peanut butter and oh my lord, check this out. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this morning I did buy some butternut squash during my grocery haul and I'm gonna go ahead and prep that right now. I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm just gonna roast it. Right now I'm warming it up at 400 and I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. All right guys, so I'm gonna do some olive oil in here. Got the garlic right here. For seasonings, I have salt, I have garlic plus by Clubhouse, and I have some basil. I am weighing everything out because I'm gonna be entering the recipe on my fitness pal. That way I know exactly how much of what is in every bite of the butternut squash. I'm not taking it too seriously just because I know the next few days I'm not gonna be able to like hit my macros fully, but either way, I just still wanna be somewhat accurate. So I'm gonna do 15 grams of olive oil, which is about one tablespoon. Then we got some garlic. I just did three cups of garlic. I'm gonna throw that in there. If you guys haven't noticed, I like to eyeball everything at the basil. So I just kinda like go by feel, I guess. I follow my intuition. Salt. I'm gonna mix that really well. Should have used a bigger bowl. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on a cooking sheet and then we're gonna throw it in the oven. This is definitely not the first time that I've walked you guys through logging recipes on my fitness pal, but I do still get questions about it. So I want to just do it one more time just for those in the back that didn't hear. But um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to enter it as a recipe and that way you're going to get the macros and the calories for the entire recipe. And then after that, that's when you create your own food on my fitness pal and that way you'll be able to log it per gram instead of just doing per serving, which I find grams is always way more accurate. The first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to find some raw butternut squash 100 grams and then i'm going to go into one gram and that way i can enter my own amount instead of just going by 100 grams some olive oil and that's all that i'm going to be tracking 15 milliliters is one tablespoon so i'm going to go ahead and log in one tablespoon of olive oil for the entire recipe it is 18 fat 95 carb and eight grams of protein all right, after that, that's when you're gonna go ahead and weigh the cooked recipe, and that's gonna be the serving size for the entire recipe that you're gonna make of food, if that makes sense. So for the entire butternut squash, we have a total of 613 grams. Now we're gonna make that into a food. So here's the recipe, rosa butternut squash, one serving. So next step is going to foods. Create a food serving size. So that's where we go 613 grams in one serving size. 
494 calories. So it's right there, butternut squash. If I wanna log some of it, meal two, my foods, butternut squash. If I wanna do 100 grams per se, so it'll be two fat, 15 carb, and one gram of protein for 100 grams of the butternut squash that you guys see right here. For this meal, I do want to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to use some of this spinach, baby bok choy, and baby chard mix that I bought. So one serving of that, 30 grams of shred lettuce. I'm gonna throw some of these in there and then also some butternut squash and I have some hummus that I'm gonna be mixing with a little bit of water just to make it into kind of like a dressing for the salad because it's so thick right now. So it definitely will not work in my salad. <laughs> Super simple and looks so freaking good. As you guys can see, the seeds have like sunflower seeds, cashews, craisins, raisins, pumpkin seeds, and just all kinds of goodness. So it's 6 p.m. right now, I am ready for my next meal. I just don't really know exactly what I wanna have, but all I know is that I got my kombucha, I got the divine grape, one of my favorites. And then my second favorite is the mango. I think I've tried like a good amount of them and these are the two that I like love the most. The other I honestly don't really like very much. So I'm gonna be having this guy. I wanna make it quick because I am pretty hungry, so. I'm gonna put that together and I'll show you guys. Obviously, I am not a salad pro maker, but I am pretty excited for this. We got some holy guacamole, some of the salad topper seeds, some spiraled cucumber, some apples, grape tomatoes, and some shredded lettuce on the bottom. Added some lemon juice and some salt. Obviously, I gotta give you guys the first reaction. Freaking cucumbers. Super random combination, but it works. All right, you guys, so I am currently editing my 15,000 calorie challenge video, so I'm kind of very focused on what I'm doing right now. So just whipped up something really quickly. I got some guac, some of the spinach bok choy baby chard mix, some salsa, and some butternut squash that I made earlier, and then I got some pomelo on the side. And I don't think I'm gonna get too creative with the rest of my meals. So I'm not sure how much more you're gonna see for the rest of the video, but stick around because you just never know with me. Basically having the same thing that I had this morning, but this time I added some puffed wheat cereal. So I'm slowly introducing grains back into my diet and I do not know when I wanna start introducing like meat protein. Probably tomorrow because chicken is life. That's what happens when I get into editing. I just zone into what I'm doing and I kind of forget about the world. So finished off the day with some pretty basic foods, but I was really happy to have my puffed wheat cereal back in the diet. I guess that was kind of the way that I reintroduced grains. Tomorrow I'll go a little bit more with like sweet potatoes and more carb dense food. Total macros for today are 77 protein, 179 carb, 53 fat, 36 grams of fiber. So pretty low there on the protein but um i think tomorrow i'll be having some chicken because i can't keep having such low protein um i got some muscle to build so tomorrow i'll probably have a couple meals with some chicken i do have some in the freezer so i'll thaw some out and that is about it guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you got some good ideas if you're ever on a salad kick i guess um 
If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions for me, anything to tell me, make sure to leave it down below. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one.